Oh, no. that is. Any thoughts? <laughs> oh, no. wow, you've got can, lovely hair. Can we start oh, with nice girls hair. or boys? What do we think, Stacey? Well, boys. Uh, um, this is definitely a man. Uh-huh, what have no, you got, could be a Lee? woman that needs a shave. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah, anything else? That, I am enjoying Clean? it. Uh, no, no, it's supposed to be trying to work out who it is clean. I am trying to feel. work out who it is. Clean. <laughs> Has yours got really big like... muscles? What, what are they holding? I don't, I don't know where to go. Lower. Oh, there you go. Look, what did you touch oh, there? Oh, I what touched something there? really that? wet. What's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> Oh, a cocktail. Anyway. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I think what's I'm in the just other dancing hand? With what's in the other hand? <laughs> Some kind of puppet. Yeah. Maybe, maybe <laughs> one of them's got a text. Oh my gosh, Love Island. Oh. Yay! Is it Love Island people? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, who is it, do you think? Oh, I don't um, care. I fancy <laughs> all of them. Bit of a bromance going on. A bromance. Uh, Kim and Chris. Kim and Chris. Yeah! Coming up, isn't it? I know, yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to it. A bit of drama. We thought we'd come dressed in a festive season. Suitable. Yeah. You, you look, look very good. Yeah. What are you doing for Christmas? Um, well, actually, Ken's coming to the farm. It's coming yeah. To house, yeah. Oh, bring it, and his family. Lovely. I'm bringing my family to the farm because we, we're Turkish. We don't normally go to the farm. You know, it's just it's rare for us. <laughs> so I'm bringing them all over and. Uh, just a bit of fluff on his yeah. chin. chin. <laughs> you two are close, aren't yeah. you? <laughs> no, we <laughs> sort each other out. Though, and, uh, yeah. yeah, so we're going to spend oh, spend about really five nice. days there. So are you nice. taking your family then to, yeah, to yeah. Christmas? Yeah. We're going to do like clay pigeon shooting, all stuff like that. Oh, really well. boy yeah. stuff. Yeah, boy stuff. But we'll try to get the ladies involved as well. <laughs> I like a bit of clay <laughs> pigeon yeah, shooting. Fun, yeah. yeah. So why, why, are some, why are so many people in Love Island all breaking up? I mean. Obviously, your girlfriends, they've gone Get too, to the point, they? Gloria. <laughs> yeah, Get to the point. Um, do you know what? I think it's a very difficult environment, and I think it's a bit un intense, it's unnatural. You get to know people very quickly at a very fast speed, and... It is, it is tough, and then you get the outside world, don't you, when you come back off it, so... Yeah. But how have you two hard. managed to maintain this relationship? Because this is, like, the best relationship yeah, ever. Do you know what? Yeah. Well, it is a surprise, isn't it? Like, how two it's, friends can meet. It's hard, yeah, because, like, we work together every day as well. Like, we do yeah. our show together, and, like, yeah. we just... It's just easy because we're friends. Mm. And, like, our shows are... It's just about us being friends and just doing stuff, Yeah. So, I mean, a friendship's fight. a different thing, isn't yeah. it? Because when it's a romance, is it going to go anywhere? Are they going to move in together? Are yeah. they going to get engaged? Are they gonna... I mean, all of the stuff surrounding Jack and... and Danny at the mm. moment, obviously, there's all the kind of stuff. People wanted it to get to the next stage and the pressure. next stage. Were you surprised Are you really at that? good friends with Jack? Yeah, no, yeah, me and Ken both are. He's, um, yeah, so what's Jack, No, Jack's lovely. I think it's just, you know, it's the speed that everything goes at. They've come out, they've won it, and it's very kind of... Oh, well, it's just, it's hard, it, it is hard, and you don't understand it unless pressure. you've kind of been in that environment. You can kind of envisage it, but it is very tough. Are they together or not? Because Danny does. We don't, really, we don't really know. You don't know? <laughs> No, we try not to get involved with that, really, don't we? Because, like, it's obviously yeah. their private life. Like, it's hard, because what they do, when you go on the show, automatically everyone's kind of invested in what you're doing. But, like, any normal relationship, you need your privacy. And I think everyone at one point in a relationship, boy or girl, was threatened to break up with each other. It's normal, like, mm. yeah. you go through ups and downs, but not everyone's is kind of put in the public eye, so... What I like, though, is this bromance between you two has led to a new TV show. Yeah. So what are you yeah. guys up to in that? So it's, uh, it's like a challenge show, so there's five, four episodes and it's me and Chris going around just doing completely different challenges against loads of different people from all ages. So Ridiculous challenges, yeah. yeah. Like what? I mean, what kind of challenges? Oh, all sorts. So we, um, we played... Oh, I thought it was called Boulets and we turned up to this naturist resort, right? And I thought a naturist resort was like you see squirrels and badgers and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and there's people walking around like little boys hanging out and everything. <laughs> and we, we, had to play, we had to play, like, naked, like, balls, oh. yeah, like... Oh. No, but do you know what was the weird... serious so, side, so, though. Sorry, say that again. No, 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 let me... I think you need to so, explain it, Let me explain it. So when, when we find out what we're doing, we turn up and we don't actually know what we're doing, so you get, like, the natural reaction. And then we got there with this lovely couple. Yeah. They're probably... Not, oh, but they're about 70, I would say. So we thought, well, I don't know what we're going to be Plenty doing. Plenty of like, youth left. I don't know, we'll play some chess or something. I don't know. And then they were just completely naked. So I was just like, I'm not going to judge. We'll just see what they're going to say first. And then he said to me, take your clothes off. And I said, what? And he was like, this is what we do. So Chris took his off, and I just got a bit nervous, so I just, just left a little bit on, just because I was... I, was he had a I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it. <laughs> he had a sock. My, mom, my mum's just there, and I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't, that's um, why you're so nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she it's, her lovely. it's her favourite show, so... How did you wear a little bit you left on? Oh, no, I put a sock on. Oh, trust me, I, I put a big sock on. <laughs> <laughs> is this the thing? Is it you work out a lot, and, like, obviously everyone on Love Island takes real pride in their body and exercise and stuff, and you'd think they'd have no body confidence issues, but even just then, you saying, like, I was really nervous to 
take my clothes off? Yeah. Is that more because of you embarrassed to be naked or just like because of your body? Yeah, yeah I think I'm we've both we've body both body said that we're really that. insecure taking our tops off. No, I know we've done it before on Love Island when you, when we was there, like we trained to our, but even now, like everyone has their own like what they feel comfortable in. And like when we, f we feel like we've yeah. got on weight, we don't feel comfortable. We don't always want to have our tops off because yeah. a lot of people know us from Love Island. Yeah. Do people they don't, expect that? They expect you? it. And we all the time are saying that like, we don't want to do it. But and it's stuff, different, but... isn't it? Because Love Island, it's like on holiday. Yeah, definitely. On holiday, yeah, like basically. when you're not on the beach or around the pool with yeah, your top you off, but you don't want to just start walking around the street. Kim, do yeah. you enjoy sure. being in the public eye? You know, because um, there is a lot of pressure. I do because it's brought me loads of amazing opportunities yeah. like having my own show and I met Chris and I've done so many amazing things. Oh, but at the same time, <laughs> like, I've got a very private family and they're not used to this, so for them it's really hard for them to understand it all and to find everything out in the open. But that's like, nice because you get to go home to that. Yeah. That's, that's why like the separation thing. Did you ever think, getting... though, that Love Island would be so much in the speak? I mean, it is Do you know the enormous. beauty of our series is the fact that that wasn't, you know, Love Island wasn't where it was then, so we went in the show not knowing, you know, what it was going to be yeah. like, and we came out not knowing what it had been like. Yeah. So it was all very, was like... Nice. We were just us when we were on there. And, and I, I remember when I went on there and I, I told my mum and she was crying because she didn't want me to go on there because, <laughs> like, it's such a hard thing to go on because I was suffering really bad with anxiety before and to go on something like that to put yourself into and just let the whole world... Well, it was the whole world. It went massive. See, everything about you is hard, but we both spoke about it and we were both... That's why we really get on because we both, like... And is that something yeah. you yeah. with similar Struggle things. With. Yeah, so me and Chris do a lot of, like, charity work with mental health and anxiety because we feel like people can relate to us because they don't necessarily would think that we think would. We would, yeah. So we, they really, when we talk about it, and we talk about it in a way that they would understand, we feel like yeah. we get to a lot of people, so... Yeah, it's important to do it. And that's the kind of stuff, when you do that, that's kind of the most rewarding work you can do yeah. since, since, like, Love Island and amongst everything else and all the opportunities. Like, that kind of work, when you give a little bit back, is... Um, you feel you can, really you can make yeah. a difference. Yeah, and happy Christmas to you, you, to have you both, the... and your mum and your family yeah. as well. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. No, you yeah, really Thank you.